All right, guys, welcome to episode 168 of Don't Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, like, and sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon, check us out over there. Get yourself some fucking merch if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, we're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. We feeling back with alive. another one. You know Listen. what I mean? Took a little shot. We'll take a little shot, man. Little we in this bit, you know what I'm saying? We got to get a little litty titty before we start. Just one. But listen, man. Nothing crazy. Round of applause to everybody. Round of applause to everybody that, that's supporting, man. We've been seeing a lot more love lately. And um, we just want to shout y'all out real quick. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. the true MVP. So We love you. Now that we got that out the way, For let's real. get into it, man. What we got today? What we got? Yo, man. Fucking, I saw on Instagram yesterday, actually. I think I sent it to you. I sent it to everybody. I was like, yo, what do you think about this? So it's Tennessee passes a bill and it requires drunk drivers to pay child support if they kill somebody that's like a minor. You know what mm. I mean? But like somebody had a good point. He was Is like, it, well, if they kill the minor, well, I mean, they if, kill they, the if they killed anybody, wouldn't they be in jail regardless? So how would they pay child support? I don't know. I think it was if they kill the parents of the kids. Oh, the parents of the kids. Yeah, I'm I sorry. think if they kill the parents of the kids, then they have to pay yeah. something. Yeah, which okay. I think is like that round of a fucking applause. It makes sense. It's like, bro, it's not that kid's fault that you just took their parents and now they have to fend for themselves. Like, think about that. A kid. Yeah. You left them with nothing. Like, nah, bro. You gotta, you gotta give them something. That is at least crazy. to make sure that they're good. You know what I mean? Yeah. In I know. my opinion. I mean, a lot of people don't even pay child support as it is, so <laughs> I don't I don't know how that's going to go. Yo, listen, man, For that real. shit don't work, bro. They just wait. I mean, they do take your stupid ass to jail, though. If you go long enough without paying no child support and you owe it, yeah, they start taking your car, they start taking your check. Don't figure out where you work. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, that happened you to remember? one of our coworkers, yeah. We ain't going to say no nah, names, bro. Nah, Santana. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's his nickname, not his real name. Yeah, God, but nah, not, bro. But for real, bro, like, they, they going to start getting theirs back. In some way, shape, or form, nigga, they've been taking care of your kid. The fuck is you talking about? Nah, for real. I would want my shit too. <laughs> no you know cap. what's crazy is that, like, we talk about drunk drivers all the time, but, like, a lot of people just, they drink casually and drive. And I'm not gonna lie, I've done it. <sighs> Listen, bro, it's never, you should never do it. I've done it too, bro. We, you know, we're not, we're it's not no hypocrites. Like, yeah. we've done it. We're not saints, but I, it's been so long since I've, you know, gotten drunk and got in a car, bro. Yeah. So long. Like, I, I don't remember the last like, time. Like, to the drunk, point where drunk. you're like, you can't remember and shit like oh, how you bad. got home i yeah like i used to there's been a few times where i got home and i woke up and i was like bro i don't know how i got here like i was fucked up yeah like that's bad i know it's horrible no that's and happened to me re- too and then you realize you're like yo bro I, anything could have happened and i could have i could have been waking up in the hospital right now i could have not been waking up at all nah. i could have fucking crashed this bitch when i was fucking not remembering and that would have been it i was just yeah i was just talking to jay about that shit yesterday and he knows a guy that lost his leg in a car accident but he was mm-hmm. so yacked out and like so drunk that like when he lost his leg, he tried to kept like he tried to keep standing up. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I keep remember going. Him telling us and that. Then, and then he saw he saw him at the bar. Like he went to a restaurant with him and Ivy, mm-hmm. and they were just sitting there eating dinner and shit. And he saw him at the bar. Like it was already at like after the accident, he had one leg. I'm like, damn, bro, you still at the bar? It surprises me that people don't learn from their mistakes. Like if that ever happened to me, like losing a limb, bro, that's, from drinking that's and driving, extreme. Like you should learn. Way before you lose a limb. Yeah, I know, but that's like, what you like, get a lot of red flags and signs of that you're gonna fucking crash out before you actually crash out. But we know those people that like they they get into accidents. That's a sign from fucking God, guys. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like facts, you know, you weren't meant facts. to live that, and you're still playing with the devil. You're Real still talk. fucking dancing with the devil, fucking driving, drinking, and driving. Like I know some females like that too. Like you just crashed. Like the girl I was dating, she just crashed her fucking car. Bro, listen, man. And if she's if still you can't drinking handle and driving. it, if you can't handle it, don't do it, or just do it in one spot. Don't drink and drive. Make sure that wherever you're gonna go drink at, you're gonna stay there. Yeah, like that's what I started doing. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, once I start getting a little older, it's like, and then that's why I stopped doing it because it's like, I don't want to stay over your house. Mm-hmm. No cap. It's like I stopped getting drunk because it's like I don't want to get too drunk to where I don't have to drive and stay here, and I don't want to stay at nobody's crib. Exactly. I want to go back to my own shit. Yeah, I don't like sleeping in nobody's house. When I'm drunk. I, Waking bro, up and you're like, oh, no I'm offense. Not home? Shout out to mommy. I love you. Like her home is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She has rooms ready for us and stuff. But I even tell her, it's like I want to go home to my like I want to sleep in my bed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a blessing to be able to go home and sleep in your own shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Is, so yeah. it's like why? Like it's cool, but. Yeah, guys, don't drink and drive. Don't be an asshole. If you're going to get drunk as a skunk, just stay at the fucking house. Yeah, Straight up. for real. <laughs> Straight up. Dead ass, bro. 
fucking you remember back in the day bro when we were like 16 15 years old we used to wear the fucking oh i did at least fucking wear the booby braces now you did yeah, too we all you wore them too. stupid shit it, it was the i love boobies whatever and bro, bro, we don't I, like boobies i saw yeah i know that's it was Come a great now. it was a great like that, that was, was a great smartest, time that was the smartest fucking marketing that, thing ever it's that, like who doesn't like titties that, even bitches like titties. that was a great time in in history, I think because like a lot of men would just wear bracelets that says "I love boobies," and then when you see it, you're like, "Oh shit, we're both whores." <laughs> you know what I mean? But I saw an old picture of me, me and my my old buddies from high school, and I had it on. I saw it. Yeah. I was just like, "Wow, look I at love me, bro!" Boobies, bracelets, what a fucking man. slut. We were such fucking little hookers, bro. Yeah, like, and anybody could have picked us up. Bitch yeah. could have pulled up in a Honda. We out. You know those people? Look, I don't care if the Honda's breaking down. None of that. We out. Nah, for real. <laughs> Yo, and they start they started fucking killing the vibe, bro. Started putting like a whole bunch of them on like one. Uh, I'm nah, like, bro, you remember like, the, yeah. bro, I remember seeing the chokers. Oh, the chokers yeah. the girls wore. Yeah. I'm like, you suck hella dick. And now I see like younger chicks do it, like underage. I'm like, why are you wearing chokers? Like I would never because let my daughter they, do because that. Because they saw their fucking aunts and older <laughs> fucking sisters do it. Well, you remember that fucking choker phase in middle school and high school, bro? Yeah. I'm telling you, every girl that wore those chokers has four kids now. Yeah, for real. four different baby daddies. But they had no like, cap. Nah, for real. Like, Sorry, girls, but it's it's halfway true. And then rap, <laughs> rappers started making it cool. Like, I'll buy you a diamond choker. Yeah, but a diamond choker is different. Uh, yeah, I'm that, talking about them fucking black chokers that you look at and you're like, bitch, you got that from the dollar store. Yeah, uh, and it's gonna start cutting into your skin in two days if you don't take it off. Bitch, you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> yeah, a lot of bitches gonna be dying passing out, bro. Them bitches gonna be too tight. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch gonna be tight You gonna lose circulation bro Like that shit's gonna Yo. fucking Alright we get it You like to be choked like, Yeah God. nah thanks Damn. Like choke yourself in private bitch You don't gotta walk around Choking yourself yeah, For anyway. real Like by the end of the day You lost like 10% of the blood flow That was supposed to be going <laughs> no to your brain No wonder you're fucking no Making one... horrible decisions God. No bl- fucking blood to the brain You're Jeez. cutting it all off I swear That's what it is bro They're <laughs> slowing down Next thing you know By the end of the day bro Their face will be white as fuck <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Now they they offset it with makeup though. You know what I'm saying? They got they got to bring the the pale back up with makeup. Yeah, that's but crazy, yeah, man, man. guys, it, we had a lot of dumb trends. I remember we were talking about this shit at the barbershop yesterday, man. The five X T's. You remember that shit? That whole era where it was it would be short niggas. I'm talking about Pedro. Shout out to my dog Pedro. Pedro will be walking around with a five X T shirt on. Oh, that yeah, shit yeah, would yeah. literally go down to his kneecaps. Yeah, bro. And then the shorts will go down to his ankles. Oh my gosh! You don't remember that fucking era? No, no, I remember it. I remember we used to wear like the two the two t shirt thing. Stupid. Yeah, it was like that yo, was if fuck. you if you wore like a blue or white, you were like a fucking gang member. Bro, we were going like I feel like, so sorry. Yo, we apologize to our parents, bro. We were yeah. fucking going through clothes for no reason. If you did, if you put if you put the jeans through the laces and then tied the laces and you had that little jean. Oh, thing, I used to do that all the time. I, yeah, then that Johnny used to get mad at me. He used to be like, bro, what are you doing there, bro? She look nah, ugly, bro. Nah, I'm nah. like, bro, leave my swag alone. Nah, bro. I swear <laughs> to God, bro. Back in the day, bro, we used to go to the fucking uh we used to go to the the skating ring. And yeah. it was like, and it was just like, bro, like every time we went there, it was just like, just different colors. And then everybody would just fucking fight at the end of the night. Yo, I'll <laughs> never forget the biggest <laughs> brawl I ever seen in my life. I was probably like 13 years old, but we, st- went, we went to the skating ring. <laughs> yeah. No cap. Yo, shout out to my dog, Jonathan Feliciano too, bro. Like he was there. Like it was a few of my niggas that were there, bro. And when I tell you it. Pop it was a stampede, off, bro. As soon, bro, as soon as you walked into the parking lot, all you heard was that fuck nigga right there, that fuck nigga right there. A nigga got molly walked on the hood of a car. The bitch was sitting inside, scared, bro. They beat this nigga's ass on top of her hood. When they done beating his ass, bro, they had so many fucking dents on that hood. Fuck this nigga. Up. Oh my god. And then the whole parking lot just started fighting. Everybody. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo. We sat on top of the truck that we, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cachete, bro. Oh shit. We were with Cachete and he was there and we just sat on top of the car and they can just watch everybody fight. Yeah. We couldn't leave. Yeah, like, we everybody was just fighting yeah. the whole parking lot. Yeah. And bro. then the cops came, niggas started hitting the cops. Nigga, it was crazy. Like niggas was running up on the cops, stealing off. It was yeah. just one nigga stole off on the cop and ran into the woods. And I just see this juggernaut ass fucking cop chase. I was like, bro, he's cop. Yeah, bro. You hit this nigga as hard as you could, and it didn't even move him. He's gonna beat your ass. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, he's gonna wait, catch wait you. Till you. All right, he's gonna catch you in the woods, and when no one's you watching. You trip on that log. 
<laughs> you, bro, don't don't get caught of doing some stupid shit, bro, in the woods when no one's seeing. Bro, he's gonna he's beat you up. Beat the fuck he's gonna, out he's gonna, gonna hide the camera, camera off. off. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna turn his fucking body cam off and be like, oh, you know, it turned off when I tripped. Nah, bro. You okay, know what? You know, like eventually we end up and we grow up and we change. That's a fact. Round of applause to that man. Round of applause to grown up. We we grow up and we change and. It was some, it was just a reality check for me this week, man, because, you know, shout out to my boy, man. He put me in check. He's just like, yo, bro, if you really want to change, you got to start today. Mm. You can't start tomorrow because tomorrow you're going to wake up and feel the same thing. You know, I'm going to start tomorrow. It's going to be a continuous thing. If you really, really want to change people, you have to start today. If you really want to be healthy, go to the gym today. Facts. Start eating healthier today. Go to the gym today. It's true, bro. It's all baby steps. And people make, you know, excuses in their own head like, oh, I don't have time, all oh, this and that. Like, bro, there is a routine for everybody out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a routine for everyone out there. You just got to find yours and stay on it. But I completely agree, bro. Like, you can't procrastinate with too many things. You know what I'm saying? There's certain shit that you could put on the back burner for a little bit. But there's other things where it's like, bro, if you don't do it now, nigga, when... When's the time? When is it? When is going to be you the good I mean? time? If it's not today, then it's not going to be tomorrow. That's facts. That's fucking and facts. That, and that's that's some real shit. And a lot of people don't want to go and and do the extra work too. It scares them. You know what I mean? They think of it and they're like, "Man, I don't, you know, I don't want to do this or but when you get to that destination and you get to that final final spot, you know what I'm saying? You feel good. You accomplished something. You did yeah. you felt uncomfortable. You know? And you know? That's real, bro. I feel like a lot of people are scared of the unknown. Where it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't, I don't know, know what, yep. how much I'm going to make. I don't like they need a guaranteed like they need everything guaranteed in their life. And guys, yeah. nothing in life is fucking guaranteed except death. Yeah. Nothing in life is guaranteed except that we're all going to not be here one day. I regret. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but all that other shit, bro, you're absolutely right, bro. You got to get to it. You got to get to it, bro. You can't be sitting here fucking, you know what I'm saying, dilly dallying and just playing with your own future. Because at the end of the day, bro, you, it's you. Yeah, no one else is going to come save you. <laughs> it's your future. It's your future. Right. You do what you want with it, bro. Yeah. That's why I told you. I've been telling you lately. Like, I'm done wasting my breath with certain people because that's all it is, is wasted breath. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, if you don't want to see yourself win, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Straight up. Like, you got to see yourself win before anybody else helps you win. Yeah. And having and having important people that really care about you, too, that's, that's also another topic I wanted to get into was just like, your friends, you know, like the people that you keep around you, you know, like there's a lot of people that don't want the best for you. That's facts. And you got to notice and, 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 and really like point out the people that really do care for you and they have the best interest for you. They, they want, they want you to succeed, you know? And I feel like God puts people in people in your life for a reason. That's a fucking fact. You know, cause you ever notice how days like are very perfect or, you know, you hang out with your friend and it's just a fucking vibe. Like you're just meant to be there at mm -hmm. that very moment, having that conversation. Like it gets deep. I, you know, God works in mysterious ways, man. And, uh, I, I feel like you got to really cherish the people that, that really care for you. I completely agree, you. bro. And I feel like as humans, we have that fault to us where we folk, we always focus more on the people that aren't. Than the people that are. Yeah, like you know, we'll, be like, we'll, oh, sit, this we'll guy. sit here. Like you see, you see most posts. It's towards people that have done some, that have done wrong to them. It's not like, yo, I appreciate everybody that has kept it good. You know what I'm saying? I made a post like that the other day because I was feeling a certain type of way, and I'm like, yo, instead of saying something negative, let me say something positive and praise the people that have kept it solid instead of shouting out the people that haven't. Yeah. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Like, fuck you. We shouldn't like, even, be, I thinking shouldn't even be thinking about you, bro. Yeah. The niggas that keep it solid, nigga, you keep it solid. It's a hundred all the way to the fucking wheels fall off. You yep. know what I'm saying? But yep. besides that, it's like, cool. It's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean, because you, you're just wasting time. You're wasting breath. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a type of friend where it's like, if I know something about you that you don't know, that's very important. And somebody's hiding it from you. I feel like that's fucked up. Like, I feel like I'm the type of friend that's like, yo, bro, I know this about you, bro. I know, uh, you, you know, it's like a situation that you're in that you don't know, mm -hmm. you know, but some people, there's, there's people out there that, that will find it funny or make it into a joke and not, and not tell you, or like, they'll tell you in a different way if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, because they low key, they they're happy it's happening to you. Exactly. They're happier in that position because it makes them feel better about whatever position they're in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. 
No, nah, I, I completely agree, man. We got to start acknowledging the people and shouting out the people that actually, you know what I'm saying, show love. And the people that don't, bro, you can't you can't complain about it. Everybody ain't going to do right yeah. by you. Everybody's not going to have the same loyalty you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not going to treat you with respect the same way you treat them with respect. Yeah. Like, it's just life, bro. But yeah. that's real, bro. We got we to gotta start acknowledging the motherfuckers that are actually there, bro, before they're gone. Straight yeah, up. and it, it's it's ridiculous, man. Like, it doesn't even matter the age, bro. I know people that are grown, grown, grown ass people. And they just, you know, they, they act like your friend, but they're just there just to just to come up off you. Yeah. Just to, j- just to see where they can get off you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then when you hear conversations that, you know, you weren't there, but they, it ends up coming back to you. Mm-hmm. It makes you look at it, it. makes you look at people differently. You're just like, you know what? Like, wow. You know, but God really does things for a reason. He works in mysterious ways, you know? And um, you just got to pay attention to pay attention to the signs, and uh, that's that's it, man. You know, that's really it. You just round of applause, yeah. man. We got we got yeah. deep for a second there. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to make nobody cry and tear up. Yeah, there. you know, like but no, nah, it's all fucking facts, man. It's all facts, bro. Watch who you hang around. <laughs> watch the people that are around you. Yeah. Keep the people that keep it solid. Yeah. And separate it from the people that don't. Don't treat everybody the same, bro. Yeah. We I've done that where it's like, oh, it's. Like one person did me dirty, now it's fuck everyone. Like I and know you can't yeah. have that attitude, bro, yeah. because that person didn't do nothing to you, and neither did that person. Like you if, know what I'm saying? Like, like if, like for example, you know what I mean? Let's say that one of one of my boys knows that my other boy's having a fucking baby, but he doesn't know it's his baby. But he knows the whole situation, but he don't want to tell, or he don't want to tell him. Nah, bro. If you if you my brother and you my boy, I'm gonna tell you. Be like, yo, bro, you happen you having a baby? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Like Again, some, you can't hold you can't hold people to the same loyalty that you get. Yeah, it's like, like yeah, that's something I get that it. you would do. That's something as a friend is like, nah, my boy got to know this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I got to make sure yeah. I do my part as a real friend, and yeah. no matter if this blows up in my face, whatever happens, nigga, I got to let him know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because it's fucked up. Exactly. But, it's Again, just like, bro, it's just everybody don't think like that. Most people don't give a fuck. Yeah, they just don't Most care. Most people but, secretly laugh at the shit you go through. But bro. it's it sucks that when you find out about it, and then people, you know, they think it's a joke. Like they 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 were talking to you like it was a joke, but they like you know, but they didn't want to tell you like oh like they're talking about somebody else, but in reality it's you they're talking about. You see what I'm saying? Like oh no, my boy, you know he's going through this, but reality they're talking about you. Yeah, you see facts, what I'm saying? Like facts. that's some that's some fake ass shit that's to me. That's some fake snake shit. Bro. That's some fake ass shit. That's why I don't be around nobody, man. I swear to God, bro, that's this nigga. I be by myself, solo, dolo, lonely. I be chilling with my chick. That's I, it. Like I can't no, believe no, that. That's it, bro. I don't like because niggas are fake like that. Bro. I can't believe. And then that. you show love. You go. You end up showing love to fake ass niggas like that, and then they end up biting you in the fucking yeah. back. Like that's yeah. how it goes, bro. Yeah. Like you can't look out for everybody. You can't. You can't be friends with everybody. You can't look out for everybody. You can't. Show your kindness to everybody because people take advantage of that shit, bro. Like straight the fuck up. Yeah, bro. And the and the, the one time that you do it, you're just like, you know, you stop, and then you're the bad guy. But you know, fuck them, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, show just show love from a distance because like I still got love for everybody. I don't I don't wish no harm on nobody. And that's just the type nah, of person bro. I am. Like if I stop talking to you and then I hear about you, like, yo, bro, I saw so and so. Oh man, how's he doing? I hope he's good. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I don't wish like, no I, malice on nobody. Yeah, but. Everybody like bro, there's been so many times in life. I've always been the type of friend where I want to I want to put you in position. Yeah, I've never been the type of friend where you could come and get a loan from me. But I'm not gonna give you money, nigga. I'm gonna put you in position to make more money. You know what I'm saying? It's like I remember when I was going to the CDL school. They asked me. They're like, "Yo, we could get somebody that you want, anybody you want, to come to school for free." I called two people. I ain't gonna put their names out there like that, but I called two people, bro. Yeah. And both of them had nothing but excuses. I was like, bro, you could come out here. It's a month long course, and in a month you'll have your CDL class A, and you'll be able to make sixty thousand dollars starting off a year. Starting off, try to put niggas in position. And it's like, at what point is like, bro, like, y'all like any help you try to give people that they don't take, bro. It's wasted time, wasted energy, and wasted help. It's a waste of resource because somebody else could have used it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like that's just how it goes, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody wants the same things out of life, and most people are scared to actually chase what they want to go do. Mm-hmm. They think it's unattainable, but they're just scared to go do it. And that's all it is. That ass. That's what it is, bro. Fucking um, yo, you ever been? What's the last time you been on an airplane? Shit, nigga, it's been it's been years. For real. 
I saw I've been on an airplane was probably 10 years ago. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. But yeah. I used to fly every year. Like, yeah. from the age of, like, 6 to the age of, like, 17, I would fly every year. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Fucking airplanes are shit, bro. You know, airplanes the, the used to be real shit. The food, bro. Oh, my gosh. You know, the worst is when you're on an airplane for, like, 12 hours, and then, like, you... You like <laughs> you fucking sleep on the plane, right? Because it's long, you know. And then you end up waking up, and it's fucking morning time. They make breakfast, and the breakfast smells like shit. Like everything just smells like shit, bro. Like you know, it's just your time schedule's off because you're going and you're crossing fucking different countries and shit, mm-hmm. different time zones. You're going like six hours back or six hours forward, whatever. Yeah, that shit's w- bro. It and wears then, on your body. Everybody thinks, oh, let's go fucking travel until they travel for a month straight, and they're like, yo, I want to go home. Yeah, no, like, by this the end of the vacation, shit is cool, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, it's twelve a.m. over here, but we're we're landing at six a.m. That homesick, like, what the fuck? That homesick shit, is, like, is really no, it's real. real. Yeah, it's real. Like you bro, really do feel homesick. Every time I traveled somewhere. Yeah. The, my longest trip was probably a month and I was ready to come the fuck home after yeah. about a week. <laughs> I'm not yeah, playing with nah, you. For real, after about is. a week, I was like, what the fuck? We've done everything there is to do over here. Yeah. Now we're just sitting here fucking wasting time. Like, for let, real. Like, let me go back to the house and I at least make some money. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, people that like sleep that on planes and people that sleep on listen, planes. Listen, if you like, sleep on a plane, you're a serial killer to me. Yeah, I can't like, fucking fall asleep uh, on no plane. Like my, my dad could sleep on the plane. Me, I'm but just man, if man, if I you're used sleep, to traveling, it's, it might be different. But I feel like nigga, I'm not in control. Like I have to be awake. Yeah, because if anything happens, but I can't even, bro, I can't even relax enough to fucking fall asleep. Yeah, like, I'm on a plane going 700 miles an hour, thirty thousand feet above. The earth yeah. and like, I was and I was nah. tra- yeah I was traveling during like nine eleven times too like it was like yeah and I remember seeing like the security like the I'll beat you the, the board fuck up if you have a beard nah <laughs> and, and, bro, and I'm not gonna lie bro and that's why you can call me a little bit racist if you want all right because I'm gonna keep it a buck all right I've I was sitting next to a guy that was kind of suspect looking bro and you know what. I'm not racist, but no, you gotta call a spade a spade. Yeah, what's in your suitcase? Sir? Yeah, like <laughs> first of all, what are you reading? Not fact. <laughs> what type of book are you reading? And two, why you look like that? How to unhinge an Until airplane I got older. door and shit? Yeah, you know, like, like, bitch, you know, I'll dump you with your own yeah, fucking su- suitcase. Yeah, after brother, seeing so. Harold and Kumar and shit, that's all you fucking. You know what I mean? Like. That's all you see, bro. You're that bald. You're the bald yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. The bald guy. Yeah, yeah. And, cool and, and you know what, man? Like, it's like these kids graduated from college. And he's like, you sure? <laughs> you sure? Enough? Like, like that's you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> nah, but I remember seeing like the security levels because it's green, yellow. It's always usually well now it's green, right? Mm-hmm. But before it was on red. Just like, see, like yeah, it tells you, like before you get on board, it was a security. So there's a chance. The chances of you being in a terrorist attack are high. Bro, listen, and you're just like, I will drive. And if I can't, I can't. drive, I'm not going. Uh, well, <laughs> He's, uh, well, you know, and I, I remember that shit. Like, nah, it was just, I got scared man. getting on the look, plane, bro. Like, you don't look, man. I'm staying away. After that, I would have stayed away from airports for a little bit. I mean, I didn't have a choice. I was just like, yeah, no, you're a kid. You're going where your fucking parents tell you to go. Yeah, you're going. Get on this airplane. If it crashes, boo hoo. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, that ass. And we're going on three. (laughs) We're not going on one. Now, now, nowadays, layovers are the fucking shittiest thing in the world. Yeah, I know. Flying fucking two hours to then wait an hour to then fly three hours. Like, bro, you're telling me I fucking go home. I took an eleven hour flight to take a three one, the three hour flight, and then we missed the three hour flight from the UK. So that's six hours. No, so we had. My dad had to pay extra first class because they didn't have any more seats. My dad was like, "Wow!" And then they finagled his ass for some bread. And, and they were like, Yo, plane, but we stayed in a fucking more. old ass creepy hotel that was like in the UK. And then everything was fucked up from like people asking me for faggots, fucking people, fucking. You, and got you, got, you guys don't know what faggot is? A fucking cigarette. Facts. And second, we hop on the bus and the and the driver's on the right hand side instead of the left. Yeah, yeah. I'm already and messed you can up. Sit on the roof of that motherfucker. I'm like six hours behind schedule and sleep <laughs> because like the hour change. I'm like so nah, messed it's up. Fucked. Yeah, yeah it's bro. Fucked. Nah, that shit, bro. That shit wears and tears on your body. Like people, like that's why people have private jets. Because yeah. if I could cut my fucking flight from thirteen hours to six. Yeah, nah. Come on now. It's different now. now. Now you can just fly directly to Oslo. You, you know? You yeah, could do shit's changed. It's different now. Now, I mean, now back the planes then, back then were trash. Yeah, like, like we you start, take, you'd feel all the turbulence. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you what plane you're riding, bro. You feel them, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you that feeling it. No, no, even now. It's like, bro, if we no, crash right now, no, this is not worth it. They're actually, <laughs> facts, it's not worth the 350. 
<laughs> but you know what? It's all right, bro. When bro. I, if I make it to Puerto Rico with a hundred dollar flight, I'll make it. And I, that was me when I went to yeah. Connecticut, bro. bro. I was feeling nervous. I was like, then we had the mask on, bro. I was like, so we gotta take two masks on if we go down. I gotta take this one off mask and then grab on. the one that's on top. Fucking mask. You know on. the one that drops. You bro. know. You know what you do yeah, first. Yeah, that bullshit. Do you put Do you put the mask on Nigga, somebody else first, on. or do you put it on you? I'm not saving shit, bitch. You, gotta you put, got two arms. No, that's how you got to do it. Figure it out. Yeah, that's the rule. They say put the mask on you first. You're more important. I mean, no shit. <laughs> you know? If it's a, a kid, if it's like my kid or like my niece and nephew, that's different. No, no, they no. might not know what the fuck they're doing. Nah, they said that. But I'm willing to risk my life for somebody I love like that. But I'm saying, if I'm sitting next to fucking Grandpa fucking Steve and that nigga, I, sorry, bro. I've you got to figure it out, nigga. Didn't you, where are you in World War II? Nah, and figure I've, it out. I've seen suitcases <laughs> falling and him people in the head and shit. I'm like, I'm like, damn. That's why I get scared sitting on the outside. And then my yeah. elbow always hits the fucking little cart thing that they pass by. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, uh, bro. Nah, I like sitting window. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like saying window, but it's like no, I, I want to see where we're crashing into if we're crashing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I do because I want to. I'm gonna make a last second decision if I can survive this or not. <laughs> No, no once we're going down, I already know we're dead. Nah, bitch, you better glide this bitch into the water like the Hudson River. No cap, that nigga did his job. Yo, people, he, he was saved a hero. Like Two hundred people. He was like a hero, bro. I would have fuck it. Yeah, I would have got that nigga so much pussy that weekend. No, no yo, you coming with us? No cap, you coming out with us, bro? Everything on us. You just yeah, saved my whole fucking life. Because the chances of you really dying in an airplane crash are really slim now. No, they are though. It's you actually know? more likely you get into a car accident than a plane crash. Yeah, but when a plane crashes, it's like damn, nigga, that's three hundred people gone. <laughs> like if they die Yeah It's like 200, would, 150, whatever How many people are on that motherfucker? You gotta take it to the water That's what you gotta go That's what you should do yeah. You should glide it And if you can't Then well bro. Cause, Cause the airplane floats Yeah I mean they're designed To glide into the water In case of an emergency Yeah So you know it's like I mean? And they have the little Fucking slide You can slide into a boat in You know what I'm saying From the door I don't be shit. paying attention To the people that be going Nah you gotta get the fuck Out the way I feel like them niggas just be scamming fucking luggage. They doing the sign language. They see the guy that's like, you know what I'm talking about when they instruct. About, they instruct oh, before inside the, the plane. Yeah, I thought you are talking about the guys guiding the fucking plane with the oh, goddamn orange things. Oh no, nah, fuck those guys. I'd be, like, be like, nigga, you better move. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no I'm God. talking about the instructor that that shows you the thing before they take off. Yeah, this is how you do the, the oh, flight. Yeah. Everything. I don't pay attention to none of that shit, bro. If we're crashing, we're fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah, what the fuck does it matter if I have a mask on or not? Nah, we're gonna okay. for real. Nah, but yeah, if you like getting on planes, comment. Let us know because. He hasn't been on in 10 years. I've, I haven't been on in like, what, two years? Been a couple now, yeah. But <clears throat> we're going, bro, I'm telling you, man. I've been telling you for years, bro. I'm trying to set myself up for the next fucking 10, 15, 20 years. I haven't taken no trips. I haven't spent no money. I've been chilling. I've been stacking. And we're about to make some moves, man. That's it. Like, it, you know, if you ain't making no moves, then what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You got to feel uncomfortable sometimes. Got to go through it to win. But I'll tell you what, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. We got back with. We appreciate y'all. Go over to Patreon. Check us out. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And uh, we love every single last one of y'all. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.